Hello, beautiful people. What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Mommy So True. So happy to see you here. Thank you for taking a moment to listen to what I have to say, because today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my perspective regarding when that narcissist knows that you know, because they do. We're going to talk about it a little bit. Drop your comments, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's have this conversation. Let's have this conversation because so many people are going through the gray rocking stage right now with a narcissist. And if you don't know what gray rocking is, this is when you start to really, really limit the energy that you're giving and putting, you know, in front of the the energy that you're giving and and allowing them to receive from you in other words when you start to gray rock a narc you literally show them you have more confidence because they're losing control the control that they once had it's not the same the grip that they once had with you it's loosening up because you have identified that something isn't right with them the same image they've been trying to keep up with by being with you, being involved with you is the same thing that you are starting to recognize is fake. You start to see that this person is truly a deceiver. And that narcissist, what happens when you see them, when you really truly see them, you start to realize this person is not gonna change. You start to realize it's the same toxic cycle over and over and over again. You activate shame for that narcissist. A biggest part of their core wound. When you identify the narc, they feel it because they've been protecting that. They, they've been working so hard to make sure that nobody ever identifies that they really are this sick, evil, toxic creature. So a lot of things start to happen when a narcissist is revealed. See, the crazy thing about narcissists and how they operate, once they notice they're losing control of you, it makes them want to control you even more because they're so obsessed in controlling the entire narrative. The thing is, They've created that narrative. You just didn't realize it. You didn't see it. You didn't notice it. You didn't realize this person has been painting a certain picture about you, about the relationship, about your family dynamic, about their past. Everything's been a lie of fake, just, just complete BS. They've been painting their own version of you, them, and everything that they control in their life. So part of that panic is, Oh my gosh, let me make sure that I really step, you know, deeper into this control attack by talking about you, smearing your name, beating you down, cussing you out, putting hands on you, whatever it is, you know, beating you down with religion more, saying worse things. It just gets worse and worse and worse because the need to really control you really amplifies because they notice that they're losing control of you. When they know that you know, a lot of things start to happen. But let me tell you, if you're wondering if narcissists know what they are, know if, you know, if they are a narcissist, I'm gonna say yes and no. The reason why is because one of the biggest issues with a narcissist is that they're delusional. They have a delusional way of thinking, a delusional mindset. They really believe their own lies. They really truly believe that they are underappreciated. They really believe that you are devaluing them. They really think that you're taking them for granted. They really think that they are the great one. They are superior and you should be happy that they are in your life. And if they're not feeling that, now there's a sense of panic you're going to see. You're going to notice that this person starts doing all kind of stuff. You start to see they 
expose themselves for exactly what they are by accident. All because you finally woke up. All because you finally started setting boundaries. All because you are no longer allowing them to get away with things they used to get away with. You, you don't get involved in, in getting all mad and fighting with them anymore. You're not showing the same emotional being that you used to be when you would cry when they hurt you. Now you're like unbothered. Your unbothered attitude really puts them in a very, very like dark place, a place of panic, a place of, oh my God, they know what I am. Oh my God, the world's going to find out. I can't afford that because at work, people see me like this. At church, people see me like that. I've been working so hard to obtain the image of this relationship. This is why they smear campaign. This is why they parentally alienate you from your children. Because when that relationship is ending, this person was never really ready for it. They were never ready for you to really figure them out. But once you did, they have to come up with a backup plan. And that is to save their mask. What happens when a narcissist knows that you know? They have to figure out how they can protect their ego, maintain their pride, and keep that mask where it's at, even though they know that you see right through them. The only way to defeat you is to try to tear you down, come at you with rage and anger, take you to court, fight you legally, attempt to sue you when they know you don't owe them nothing, ruining your name smearing your name like really really bad those of you with children they will smear your name so bad to the point where your children hate you and they don't even know they don't even understand if only they knew and you'll notice even in situations where the narcissist knows that you know they start to act like they want to do better they're ready to change they now want to do everything that you've ever wanted from them they're now eager to be that great man or that great woman that they know you deserve. It gets very intensified. And, and now they start doing stuff like trying to prove their love and trying to get you to believe that you can trust them. <laughs> but by this point, it's too late. When a narcissist know that you know, they go, they go to extremes to try to prove to you. That actually, it's not what you know. That's called gaslighting. Actually, I am a good person. I can show you how good I am. I can show you what I can do, which is always a lie. Because when they know you know, they have to try to pull you back in. When they know you know, they have to try to stop you from trying to become independent and detach and go and let your light shine. So you can receive all of your blessings and the things that you deserve in life because they know they can no longer control you. It's always been about control. And when they know that you know, they are defeated because they can no longer control you. This person needed you for narcissistic supply. And a lot of times you must understand why they cheat, why a back burner supply comes into place, why a discard happens why they run off and seem like they don't care? Because they know that you know. This person is a coward. Delusional, coward, demon. That's what they are. And instead of taking accountability, instead of being able to sincerely apologize and give closure, they'll run off. They'll find a way to turn the situation into the complete opposite of what it is. They will be very determined to make sure that if you do get away, then maybe you leave with nothing. If they can chase you with destruction for the rest of their life by stalking you, haunting you, taunting you, they'll do that because they know that you know. And the one reason why they panic is because they do not want the truth to be exposed. I'm telling you, it's all about protecting the mask, protecting the ego, protecting that false sense of self. The need of feeling like you owe them 
<laughs> you owe them your life. You strip that away from them. This person really thought because they controlled you, because they've manipulated you and, and, and pulled you into their web, they really thought that you would never wake up. And once you did, they became offended. Behind that offense, though, is someone who is defeated. It's, a, it's the devil defeated. When a narcissist knows that you know, the demons inside of them become so irritated. Many of you will see that they show you even more hatred. The toxicity grows. When they know that you know, they can't even help it. It's like they just cannot help it. They cannot help who they are. They cannot help the things that they do. To me, I, I think it's beyond just a disorder. You're demonically driven. Demons love to torture you. And you've been covering up your demons your whole life. That when someone comes around and exposes that, it puts you in a, in a state of panic. Demons don't like to be exposed. <laughs> when they know that you know, the whole game changes. Because it means that you now have way more control than you were ever supposed to. It means that you have the capability of making plans. It means that you are probably going to abandon them and they truly fear that. This person is afraid of rejection. They feel like they've been rejected all of their life. Whoa, it's me, I, everybody this and nobody that and all my exes this and my parents that. And yeah, 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 wah, 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 wah. This, this is a child who becomes afraid because you've been parenting them emotionally. You've been caring for them mentally. You've been pouring into them spiritually. And you didn't even know that that, was, that wasn't even doing anything because they're empty and it was going nowhere. And the thing about narcissists is they may not know they are narcissists. They may not know exactly what they are, but they know they have issues. They know that the things that they do cause them to lose people. They know that their behaviors come with severe consequences. They definitely know. They definitely are very quite aware of how toxic they are. So when they know that you know it activates shame. Now that little baby inside of them, that broken child, they have to feel that all over again. They have to be reminded. They have to be reminded of what the real issue is. They have to face their demons. Your presence eventually becomes a little bit, a little bit too much shame inducing for that narcissist. And so, Either they're gonna plan to discard you, find a way to get rid of you, you know, attack you until you run or make their plans to run, or, or you know, try to keep you in that until they can really destroy you. But they know that you know because they can feel that you no longer wanna be in that relationship. They can sense that you're very bored with them. They can sense you're no longer interested in the way that you used to be. They feel the disconnection when they know that you know. The only way to protect or, or hide from having to face their demons is to keep attacking you and others, is to keep smearing your name, is to keep talking about you. It's to try to bring shame to you so it can take attention off of them and what they're really feeling on the inside to cause distraction. When that narcissist knows that you know, they know that they are defeated. They just got to find a way to not feel that defeat. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow is all I can say. <laughs> a lot of you are in a place where you are noticing that this person is fighting you a little bit more. This person even may be a little distant because they're, they're planning 
something with those three smartphones that they have. Uh-oh. They got something going on. Because they know that you know. They know that you're on to them. They feel that you've been great rocking. They feel that you are no longer interested like you used to be. They feel that you are no longer getting involved, talking as much, giving them as much, expecting anything. They feel it. They know. And don't be afraid. Just continue to pay attention and continue to be that strong being that's gray rocking them because it's so necessary. You've seen it. You can't unsee it. And you're tired. And they know you are. So if they're not faking and acting like they want it to work and that they can do better and be better, they're definitely going to attack you. They're going to come for you in other ways. You need to be prepared for it. And you need to know that they're just seeking reactions and they're just trying to validate how crazy you are because you see them for what they are. Crazy, but it's true. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> and if you know, you know. Thanks for watching today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you learned something. Hope you gained something. I've shared with you guys my recent experience for a reason. I now have confirmed yet again that when a narcissist knows you know, the game is over. The game is over. That demon is in panic mode. That demon is full of shame and they are doing whatever they can do to try to protect that shame. Try to, try to keep their little fragile ego intact. So you got to make sure that you start moving the right way. Learn that it's necessary to lessen your reactions. It's necessary to learn how to move in silence and be silent. Lessen your responses and keep showing that demon that you see right through them and you know exactly what they are. Many of you, things will change so drastically. They'll become uncomfortable and they will discard you. They will leave, but that demon must go. Move, Nark, get out my way because you are a blessing blocker. You are a deceiver, you are a liar, you're pathetic, and you don't have anything to offer anyone who carries light. Leave them where they're at. Let them, let them continue to collect the dust that they are. Until next time, guys, keep shining, keep thriving, keep healing. Stay true. See you later.